Well, another day comes to an end. Tell me, dear Lavinia, how was your day at school? It was really good, but something happened today with one of my friends. She had forgotten her lunchbox at home and she was feeling sad because she didn't have any food or treats. Oh, my dear, she must have been hungry and couldn't join in the fun with her friends. Oh, yes, we all tried to help her and each one of us in class shared something so she could be happy again and play with us. That's absolutely wonderful, Lavinia. Your kindness and generosity make God very happy too. <laughs> yes, indeed. In today's story, there are some people who made a similar choice like you did with your friends, and they played a special role in someone becoming a Christian. Oh, really? Me and Lola are so excited to hear today's story. Maybe I could share it with my friends tomorrow. So who is the story about today? Today's story is about Saint Pacomius. Saint Pacomius the Great. He was born in 292 AD in Thebaid, near Luxor in Egypt. His parents were not Christians, but when he turned 20 years old, there was a call from the Roman Empire for all the men to join the army. Listen, everyone. The emperor has given his order that all men above the age of 18 must fulfill their duty and embark on a boat journey along the Nile River to support the Roman army. These are the Emperor's orders, and everyone must follow them. All the young men boarded a boat and set sail along the beautiful Nile River until they became tired. They then stopped in a city called Thebes. The people of Thebes were Christian people, and when they saw the young soldiers so tired and hungry, they started giving them food and water so that they can continue their journey. Oh, you must be very hungry after your long journey. Here, we have some delicious food and refreshing water for you. Please take some, so you can regain your strength and continue your journey. I'm curious, who are these wonderful people? And why are they being so kind to us? And we are supposed to be their enemies. These people are Christians, and Jesus taught them to love and help others without expecting anything in return. Oh, that's really so kind. Dear God, if I come back safely from the war, I promise to learn all about Christianity and about you, Jesus. Then sometime after that, the Roman Empire announced that all the men are free to go back to their homes and families. During his stay at Thebes, he learned everything about Jesus and Christianity and got baptized there. He was so happy in his life with God that he decided to become a monk and live all his life with Jesus. While Pacomius was walking in the desert, he met an old monk named Palamon and learned a lot from him. One day, an angel appeared to Pacomius as he was praying and said, Dear Pacomius, God is delighted with your devotion and love, but there are other people who also wish to become monks like you. Go and build a place where all the monks can live together and support one another. I wish I can do that, but how to start? And what should I do? The angel gave to Pacomius all the rules that he and the other monks should follow and how they should live in love and sharing with each other. I will do as the angel told me. There might be other people who want to become monks but don't know how to start. I will build a place for them to stay, where we can all pray and worship God and live together in unity. Pacomius became a leader for a group of monks, and he followed the rules given by the angel and treated them all like brothers. The number of monks increased, and they all loved this special community life and started calling this place where they lived a monastery. And even after Pacomius passed away, many people followed his way of living. They found great happiness by living and praying together, just like Pacomius taught them. That's an amazing story. Thank you so much for telling me the story of St. Pacomius the Great. I will tell it to my friends, and maybe we can pray together in church like St. Pacomius and his monk friends did. I'm glad you liked the story today, Lavinia. Now I want to show you his icon. Look here. He's standing in the desert, surrounded by the small monasteries that he built and the monks around them. And there at the top right is the angel who gave him the rules of the communal monastic life. 
Always remember to be kind to other people, just like the good Christian people of Thebes were with Pacomius and his soldier friends. It's because of their kindness that we have a great saint today, like Saint Pacomius. I will. I'm also excited to share the story with my friends. Good night, Mum. Good night, Dad. Good, good night, night Lavinia. Lavinia.